So, uh, my key bit of advice to somebody who's about to start a ministerial job is to say, go in with a list of priorities, a list of key things that you want to deliver. And as well as delivering everything else that you're going to do in that department, make sure that every week you come back to that list and see that some progress is made on achieving those lists. There's so much that you find frustrating about being in government. I come from the world of business, so I automatically assume that when you pull the lever, something would happen. And I realised very quickly that in government, uh, even if uh, somebody says that, uh, yes, they will do something, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will. I think one of the biggest strengths that you can have as a minister is to know your brief inside out and not just the brief that's delivered to you by civil servants but actually your own knowledge and experience and the best way to do that is to make sure that you're connected to grassroots organisations, activists, people working in the field and that you spend time regularly getting to know what it is that your department is, is delivering. Uh, but it also means, and it's exhausting, it also means making yourself available at crazy hours, middle of the night when you're traveling uh, so that if there is something that's happening on the ground you hear it about the same time as your civil servants do.